Hi guys, this is Mike and we're here today with the ASUS G74SX 3D. Uh, as you probably know, this one is not yet available on the market. What you have here is an early review unit. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the one you're going to be uh, to find in stores in, in July, which is like in a month or so. And um, however, specs might uh, might different uh, might different on uh, on the final product and uh, also performances might uh, be better for that one as well as drivers uh, as new drivers get out. Still, this uh, we're going to take a quick look at the G74 uh, SX, like I said. And uh, first, uh, let's uh, let's talk about the exterior. Uh, this is a very very big device, it's a 17.3 inch uh, gaming laptop, it's pretty thick, pretty heavy, uh, you won't be able to carry it around, this is uh, more like a desktop replacement, a gaming desktop replacement, you're going to use on your desk alone. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at uh, some of the, its aspects, first of all, let's take a quick look at the, at the keyboard. Uh, You'll notice that design is changed from the previous generation, from the G74. Uh, right now, this part, palm rest, is made from some rubberized plastic. Feels very nice, actually, quite uh, quite solid and uh, quite comfortable. You get here a huge trackpad. You can see that it is. I'm going to zoom in here so you see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so here it is. The trackpad is very big. You have separated click uh, buttons and they are fairly f easy to press, they are silent as you can see the uh, trackpad supports multi gestures and it's quite uh, responsive, everything works quite nice the keyboard now comes with a redesigned uh, layout as you can see now there are two parts of this keyboard separated by the arrow keys right now which are, uh, are now better emphasized because these are keys you're going to use a lot when playing uh, and the standard key uh, keyboard is here on the left with the numpa, num key, numpad keys here on the right separated by this narrow space. Uh, all the area around the key, uh, the keys is made from aluminum, there's some purple, dark purple aluminum and this part above uh, houses the, uh, the speakers and it's made from texture plastic, looks very nice. And you have here on top two buttons, this one is for powering the device and this one is for launching Asus Quick Express. Uh, also here are a couple of status LEDs for caps lock and num lock and stuff like this. While the other status LEDs are right here down on the left side of the palm rest. Uh, you will notice that this uh, space here it's actually quite nice uh, but also the uh, device will get a little bit hot here because b beneath this, uh, this particular space is the new graphic chip, the NVIDIA GTX uh, 560M. And so this part here will get a little bit uh, a little bit hot. So I'm not sure if this is just a redesign uh, meant to improve the keyboard or it was uh, designed like this. So uh, this area will, uh, would allow a better cooling for the for the keyboard as well. Okay. Um, on top you have the big display. Let's take a quick look at the display. As you can see here it's a 17.3 inch display like I said it comes with a mate non-glossy finish it's very nice full HD resolution 1912, uh, 1920 by uh, 1080p uh, pixels and uh, it's a 3D display as well supports uh, 130 hertz uh, refresh rate so it's actually quite nice. So this one comes as well with uh, NVIDIA 3D Vision. So you have uh, 3D uh, glasses included with the uh, NVIDIA 3D Vision uh, technology and everything will work quite nice on this one. You will be able to see 3D movies and play 3D games and stuff like this. Uh, let's take a quick look at the exterior as well. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so here is the exterior. Uh, it's the same uh, rubbery finish you also f find on the palm rest and uh, you have the ASUS Republic of, Go Republic of Gaming uh, logo here on the hood. However, oh man this is heavy, it's very very heavy actually. You will notice that uh, the hood is slightly redesigned. First of all it is not as thick as it was before and second of all, of all the back part was redesigned as you can see here. Uh, still with these aggressive cooling uh, vents here, 
just that they were redrawn and uh, uh, all the hot air is, uh, uh, gets uh, out from here and uh, this allows the device to uh, be kept cool while, while running. Okay, let's take a quick look at the sides. Like I said, this one is heavy and is quite big. I'm trying to show you the ports here. Uh, you get a SD card reader here, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, VGA, HDMI, LAN adapter and DC in here. On the front there's actually nothing. And on this other side what you actually have is the Kensington lock, another two USB ports, Blu-ray unit and headphone and microphone you can see they're nicely placed here so you can uh, get your headsets uh, when, when playing. Also let's now take a quick look at the bottom of this device. You can see you have two big panels and uh, let's see what you get beneath each of them. Here, this is the battery, and you have a 52 milliamp hour, 74 watt hour battery. You can see it is placed here, so very easy to, to access it. Okay, let's try and put it back. So, this was the battery, and in this other part, this uh, allows you quick access to uh, hardware. I'm going to open it and take a quick look. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the hardware inside this one. Like you see, you have this panel, you have to unscrew this uh, little screw here. It's very easy to access. You have this panel and once you remove it, here's what you get inside. Let's zoom in a little bit. So you'll be able to see what you get. First of all, you have two hard drives. Right now we have two standard hard drive installed, but you can easily put on an SSD for the storage, for the operating system, and a bigger 72 RPM, 7200 RPM drive for storing your actual information. And what you also have here are, let's see if we can zoom in even more, you have four separated module, memory modules. Right now we have 16 gigabyte of RAM installed in here. You see four, four, four gigabyte uh, slots, and you can see how easy it is to access memory and to install everything on it. And um, you probably know that Sandy Bridge now supports quad channel memory, so this is a nice addition to have on a gaming on a gaming laptop right now. Okay, and getting things back, it's uh, it's actually quite easy. You have to put this panel back and press it gently. Okay, let's see if like this. That's actually quite nice and then quite easy and then you have to screw this big screw back and everything is uh, back uh, the way it should and like you can like you saw there is there are no cooling vents on the on the bottom because all the cooling is done through this uh, big vent on the back like i said this one the very big vent on the back okay so overall the device looks very nice it's very solid of course like i said it is heavy uh, i'm not really sure how much it weighs but it probably weighs around eight nine pounds ten pounds something like this uh, you, will, uh, you will get uh, information about this on, on the site um, when uh, we're going to publish the, the review there. Okay, so this is pretty much all with the exterior. Now we're going to power the device and I'm going to talk a little bit about hardware and also about uh, the screen uh, of, this, of this laptop.